Hey there, everyone. I hope you're rocking today. I spent time at two conferences this past month and got inundated with questions about geoscience and GIS. People seem to be confused about how to deal with the uncertainty in their jobs and the fact that some of them have landed in jobs they weren't happy in and, in fact, were quite <laughs> bored. I told them about a concept I recently learned that can save their sanity and ensure they love what they do. The concept is talent stacking, which I'll be talking about in this video. Before we get going, if you have any questions or concerns or anything you want me to talk about, just leave them down below. Let's get rocking. Hi there, I'm Dr. Chris, a professional geoscientist. I spoke with quite a few people at this year's Geo Convention and Esri User Conference here in Calgary. The conversations got me thinking about a concept called talent stacking, which I learned from a book, Win Bigly by Scott Adams of Dilbert fame. Many people like me have landed in jobs they like and, in at least one case, love. Some people were pretty down about the industries they were in, specifically oil and gas, most just wanted to be happier in their positions. Talent stacking is basically combining multiple ordinary average skills into something extraordinary. For instance, are you just okay at geoscience? Okay at programming? Average at animation? Boom! Skill stack. Are you okay with people? Okay at GIS? Okay with music? Boom! Talent stack. I would venture to say that everyone is doing this in an automatic fashion, but the most successful happy people are talent stacking on purpose. Now, what exactly is an ordinary or average skill compared to, say, a mastered skill? Malcolm Gladwell in his book Outliers talks about the 10,000 hour rule. This rule states that practicing a skill for 10,000 hours results in, roughly speaking, mastery of that skill. This works out to about 20 hours per week for 10 years. Now, here are some stats which should make you feel better about your less than mastery achieving skills. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average person will change jobs 12 times in their lifetime. That's roughly every five years. Let's say roughly 20 hours a week of focused, useful work. That means an average person will acquire at least one average skill in those five years for your talent stack. This means you build quite a few average skills to stack over a lifetime. What you should be able to do with my next three tips is create a talent stack that will work for you. Number one. Mind map your skills from what you are great at, to what you're good at, to what you're okay at, and synthesize something extraordinary. Once you have that list, you can purposely connect those skills together and understand that what you are making is unique for you. Now, you will not have mastered all those skills. You may have mastered some of them, but not all of them, but you can create something very unique and extraordinary. Did I just say extraordinary? Extraordinary? Extraordinary. For instance, I'm okay at art. I'm okay at geoscience. I'm okay at GIS. I'm a pretty darn good programmer. This gives me a very powerful talent stack. Doing this will also allow you to think outside the box because if you have some strained skills or skills that don't seem to connect very well, if you're able to synthesize something unique, this can create a very cool niche that you can create and build yourself. Number two, if you can, seek out employers or employees who understand the value of talent stacking. For me, I'm able to stack quite a few of my skills together into something that I think is quite awesome, both in my day job and when I'm making these videos. This was all purposely done years ago and it's still evolving over time. This wasn't always the case. I did work for a bigger company and they wanted me to be a very small cog in a giant machine. Now, I wasn't very happy at that, of course, but had I actually stayed 
in that, I probably would have been a, that would have been a very powerful skill of that cog, but when you want to stab your eyes out every day at a job, it's not very conducive for a good working environment. Number three, master the skills of becoming a caveman. Now, I know I harp on this a lot, but in a world of automation and machine learning, being human is the difference. In fact, being good with people, emotions, connections, physical well-being, lifting heavy are going to be extremely valuable in the future and quite possibly the only thing of value in an automated future. Smart people are good at people. And those are my thoughts on talent stacking. Here's what you could do right now to make sure that you maximize your stack. Pick three of your top skills right now and synthesize them into something extraordinary. You can add more skills if you like, because this would make for an even more extraordinarily unique result. Be purposeful in your choices and have fun. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and add me to your LinkedIn, or even better, share my videos through your networks. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris. Keep rocking.